Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the fixation. Fixation is the first step of any histological and cytological laboratory technique. It is the process by which the cell in the tissue are fixed in a chemical and the physical state and all the biologic, biochemical and the proteolytic activity within the cells are prevented so that the cells or tissue can resist any morphological change or deterioration or the decomposition after subsequent treatment with various reagents. The fixation helps to maintain the tissue nearest to its original state in the living system. Basic aims of the fixation to preserve the tissue nearest to its live states. So here when we are fixing uh, there is no any changes in that means uh, uh, actually the, we are uh, reduce the changes in living status to prevent any changes in say size of the tissue at the time of processing <coughs> so after we fixing we have to go for the uh, final the HNA staining and we have to observe the thin smear uh, so that time uh, we are going to further the chemical treatment so that time it's prevent the shape and the size of the tissue to prevent any autolysis autolysis uh, so here also uh, the bacterial activity is reduced to make the tissue firm to hard so uh, when we fixing the tissue it hard the tissues to prevent any biological activity or growth in the tissue so it's prevent the fixative it's prevent the bacterial growth to make it uh, possible to have clean clear stain uh, so fixative help to uh, stain the uh, but but we are using the stain it's help to stain the uh, specific um, tissue parts to have better optical quality of the cells so finally after that uh, after staining we have to prepare uh, the clear uh, uh, optical quality so it's so the fixation it will help to so many uh, so many parts qualities of an ideal <coughs> fixative so an ideal fixative should have the following qualities first one the prevention of autolysis of the cells or the tissue Second, prevention of decomposition of the tissues by bacteria. Third one, the maintaining the volume and the shape of the cell as far as possible. And fourth one, consistently high quality staining, particularly rooting stain, such as hematoxylin and eosin stain or <coughs> papanicola stain. Fifth one, rapid action uh, and cheap and non-toxic these are the qualities of the uh, fixative the, the larger number of fixatives are available in market each fixative has its own advantages and disadvantages in fact it is difficult to find a universally accepted ideal uh, fixatives Changes in tissue after fixation. Uh, following changes may occur in the tissue due to fixation. Uh, volume changes, hardening of tissue, interference of staining, changes of optical density by the fixation. So when we consider the volume changes, fixative may <coughs> change the volume of the cell. Some fixatives such as osmia tetraoxide cause cell swelling. The exact mechanism of the changes in volume is not properly understood. However, 
the volume change is made due to one the alternative membrane permeability or the inhibition of the enzyme responsibility uh, for respiration or the changes in transport sodium ion formaldehyde may cause shrinking of the volume by 30 percentage uh, in an experience the shrinkage of the uh, dust is inversely proportional to the um, formaldehyde concentration similarly uh, glutaraldehyde also causes the significant tissue shrinkage however when glutaraldehyde and osmol osmium tetraoxide are used as a fixation in epoxy resin then 70 percentage increase of the size is noted then when we consider the hardening of the tissue the fixation changes the consistency of the tissue and some amount of hardening occur due to the fixation interference of the staining fixation may cause a hindrance of staining of enzyme formaldehyde inactivate 80 percentage of ribonucleus enzyme it has been noted that osmium tetraoxide inhibit the hematoxylate and eosine <coughs> staining changes of optical density by fixation the fixation may cause the change of optical density of the nuclei and the nuclei may look like contents and hypochromic hypochromic These are the references.